So Joe, on today's episode of how much did UPS fuck up my package, everything from the Aaron we've been waiting for, the bubble wrap. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Wait, let me... Oh, God. Let me hold it. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, hopefully, hopefully the battery tie down's not fucked off. It didn't puncture the box or anything. Battery tie down looks... Hold it up. Hold it like flat. Is it bent? Uh, I don't think so. No. I think it's supposed to have like a slight arch in it. Yeah, that's just for it to tie it down. Yeah, this box. Sick, dude, but the box. Hey, but you got free Baron stickers and you got two of them. <laughs> oh, that was worrisome. Sick. Well, that's our unboxing of a Perrin battery yeah. tie. So to install the Perrin battery hold down bracket, you got to get in with a 10 millimeter wrench back there. Ratcheting wrench will be your friend. And then same thing for this front one or use... An impact gun it'll just be faster you can do that real quick all right so after you get the old one pulled off oh that just slipped out you just it's easier to do the back one first once you get it on there you can set the nut on tighten it down all the way get it finger tight whatever and then you just move on over to the front it sticks down in there. Ignore the wiring mess from doing the underglow. And then it comes into the lower side. Put the nut in there. It's easier to use a socket to get it finger tight. But just rotate it a couple of times and then zap her down. And once you are done with the install, this is how it should look. Pretty easy, only takes a couple minutes to do. If you're struggling to get this side on, loosen the rear a little bit so you can turn the bracket or pivot the bracket down a little bit and you'll have plenty of clearance to get that one.